Hi friends, in this video illustrate how to find the closed loop transfer function of a system. It was the continuation of the previous video where we uh, studied how to reduce uh, the transfer function of the system and to obtain the, uh, the open loop transfer function. And here we are going to solve the same system. And uh, uh, let's see uh, what would be the transfer function of the system. Uh, here we are considering a, a closed loop system with a transfer function of the closed loop is 1 by s plus 5. Let the open loop transfer function of the system was so g equal to 5 s plus 12 divided by s square plus 3 s plus 2. Here the feedback is 1 by s plus 5. The generalized formula for obtaining the transfer function of a closed loop system is g divided by 1 plus th. Let's substitute g and h and obtain the transfer function of a closed loop system. So 5s plus 12 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2 all divided by 1 plus 5s plus 12 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2 into 1 by s plus 1. When you solve this one, so you will get 5s plus 12 into s plus 5 all divided by, so this you can multiply s q plus 5 s square plus 3 s square plus 15 s plus 2 s plus 10 plus so this one 5 s plus 2 so again we reduce here 5 s square plus S plus 25S plus 60 all divided by S cube plus 8S square plus 22S plus 22. So 12S plus 25S so 37S. So this is the transfer function of the system. Let's move to the MATLAB simply and uh, we will obtain the same. This is a simply block diagram. Go to the input side and right click, select linear analysis point and select input perturbation. Input perturbation. Similarly, go to the output side, right click, select linear analysis point and select output measurement. Then go to the analysis and select the kind of design and select linear analysis and run this one so you will get the step response of the system. And here a model is generated. Select the model and drop it to the MATLAB workspace. Then go to the MATLAB work uh, MATLAB and use this command to get the transfer function of the raw slope system. So here we can see that 5 s square plus 37 s plus 60 all divided by s cube plus 8 s square plus 22 s plus 22 this was the the same expression we obtained so in in another way select this uh, linear analysis model select this model and go to the plot and result result be here So this is a one of the 
uh, pretty simplest way of reducing the tensor function by uh, using a linearization technique and we can use this method to find out the upper loop and closed loop tensor function of a very complex system. I hope uh, this video will help you a lot. Thank you.